Hello and welcome back aboard the Good Airship Hopium. I'm your host and captain, Snappy Dude speaking. And as always, it is a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for continuing to watch this channel. Thank you for continuing to play Gigantic. It is awesome to have you here. I'm so excited today. We have a Charnock match. Uh, this is my first Charnock nat match in fucking forever. Uh, not my first, actually. I've been playing Charnock a lot. Um, but I, it's one of my better Charnock matches that I've had lately. It's not a great Charnock match. It's not some kind of pro-level epic Charnock match. But I do pretty decent. I, I get some kills. I do some damage. Uh, things are pretty decent for me in this match. I'm pretty happy. Didn't see that guy. Uh, from the way my screen was set up, um, I couldn't actually see him at the time that I shot him. Uh, because of how far I was away from my screen, he was just like the smallest pixel. Um... So I just kind of shot up there at random, and I was pretty funny laughing to myself uh, when I, I saw the damage pop up. Uh, but before we get too far into this, uh, rumors are abound that, that there is a fix for the easy anti-cheat problems that have been plaguing PC. Hopefully by the time I have this recorded and released, uh, those rumors turned out to be true. Because fixing that, the week we have a free giveaway on the Epic Games Store would be fucking phenomenal uh yeah so hopefully um yeah hopefully here we go i'm gonna fall back here i'm gonna heal up i don't know whether i'm pretty sure we lose this game because it, we only ever lose games that i record um if, if i don't record i'll, I'll get like a, a 10 and 0 kill ratio and fucking we win the game three hearts to 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 zero uh but you know as soon as i hit record that that all goes out the window i have performance anxiety i swear it only happens in gigantic oh god i whiffed by the way anybody who's just paying attention to the screen i definitely whiffed killing that taito yes i acknowledge it yes i will live with the shame yes i will tell my grandchildren about it until the day i die and live in regret um, it was just, I missed so many shots of that title. I felt so bad. Anything probably would have fucking killed him. And I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't get there. I couldn't get to completion. And I feel bad. And yes, there's going to be probably more innuendos before this video ends. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, uh, they're going to get the rampage. I'm kind of hoping somebody comes through here. Nobody does, of course. Because I'm standing there. So why, why would that happen? They all push down the middle. I think they all push down the middle every single time. They don't come from any other side angles or anything, any other time. I think maybe once or twice they, they kind of push up and then go through like where the Cyclops is at, but that's about it. Get some get some assists here. I'm paranoid that somebody's going to be to my left. Don't know why. That's why I looked over there twice. I'm like, oh my god, they're going to be over there. My whole team pushes these people back across. I kind of don't follow. I play it very safe throughout this whole match. Like I said, I'm just not as experienced or as practiced with Charnock as I used to be or that I would like to even still be. And uh, it's very hard to get there because everybody's so good. It's so hard to learn. I like learning in a pressured environment, but not as much of a pressure cooker as Gigantic is sometimes lately. There's so many old school vets playing this game and so many of them uh, are so much better better than me. And it's 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 too much <laughs> it's too much um ideally i'd pick up a new character i'd play them in a game where there were some shitty people uh then i'd move up to some people that were kind of my level then i would play those vets uh but man it is it is just it is hard i swear they they stand still and i miss them and i get these crazy shots where i'm like moving and i shoot them in this tiny little gap and i'm like oh god I didn't think I would hit that, and I hit that. But then the ones where they're standing still, those are the ones where I fucking miss. It makes no sense. Uh, shame to me. Shame to my family. Uh, my ancestors look down in sorrow. Uh, I end up fighting this cat door for a minute. Uh, I'm not really caring. I figure he's getting pulled away from wherever the fight's actually going on. I drop this up here. Bing a bang a boom a. I get some damage off it. Not a lot. Probably. I'm just letting that guy uh, collect that power, I guess. So so good for us. That's why they get this rampage. So, you know, 
fuck Snappy for letting that happen. Skyfire. I don't think, yeah, I get away from this, yeah. But no, it's it's tough trying to learn to like play a character again when everybody's so good. And I don't want to feel like I'm throwing matches, so I'd rather play characters I'm halfway decent with. And then I end up, you know, either playing the same characters over and over again, or I, uh, you know, throw matches for people. And then I feel bad because, you know, they, like I've said before, I don't want somebody to sit a half hour waiting for a match and then have Snappy be the reason that match is fucked up. So it sucks. It's a very complicated thing right now, trying to get footage for characters that I don't have. God, I should have streamed and played this game more when it still had uh, a somewhat decent-sized player base. Shame on Snappy. He will forever regret that. A second time. This is the second time I have regrets about how much I played Gigantic and how much recording I got done on Gigantic. It's ridiculous. I feel bad. I jump over here and join this fight on this server. It's way too fucking late. Which is my bad. Again, another assist. I want to say my assists are really high at the end of this game. Like, my KD isn't bad um, at the end of this game. My damage isn't terrible at the end of this game. But I want to say my assists are pretty high. Which I'll take. I'll take. I would... When I'm learning a new a character again, it, it's one of those things where I this I shouldn't have died here. What happened was I do not play Clash on Xbox ever. Like typically, I just queue for uh, Rush. Um, also, I'm I'm trying to play characters I don't normally play, so I typically queue on Rush. And then if I play as a character and I'm sucking, I can switch to a character I'm better with, and hopefully try to try to bring up about halfway through the game. I'll switch uh, to a character I'm better with, and that way I can kind of um, make up for, for the, the shitty first half of the game. And so I don't typically play Clash. So what happened there was I jumped down on that spot because I thought I had an obelisk, and I was going to drop an obelisk there. And I did not have an obelisk because I do not have an obelisk equipped on, equipped on Xbox because uh, I don't ever fuck with my creature loadouts on Xbox. Uh, and so I got down there... Realized I was super low on health. Realized I didn't have an obelisk. And uh, it was just too late at that point to turn it around and I got killed. So I thought I'd throw out the the focus move. Maybe do some damage. And, uh, you know, before I died. Turn over here. I'm glad to see my Cyclops got upgraded at some point. Uh, I don't know if I've said that already. But I'm glad to see he, he grew up a little bit. I think he like rushes past me and goes off the back and runs around. Yeah, that's what happened. What I should have been doing here was I should have immediately shifted my focus to that HK over there, and I'm kind of kind of disappointed that I didn't. I should have tried to focus on him and get him to to stop pressuring my team. we go. I'm going to run around a little bit and see what else I do. Oh, ho. I, I don't know whether that fucked up when I casted it or whether I just had it tilted funny and it caught on something because I thought, I'm sure what I thought was I was going to drop it on the point and then it dropped like right at my feet for whatever reason. I get a kill here. I was pretty happy with that kill. I remember being pretty happy with that kill. Kind of felt like a nice little 1v1 moment, just me and that HK. 
and I took him out, and I was happy about it. And then I come in here, and I sit, and Lord Gnosis is going to put some hearts up. Or, Lord Gnosis. Fucking Just Voden. Shout out to Just Voden. I feel like I'm on his team every, every game right now. We could be on opposite teams, and somehow we always end up on the same team. Ash is definitely trying to, like, sneak in here. I hit her in the face a couple of times. I come over here, and I fire breath uh, Beckett a little bit. Beckett runs away. Ah, oh, man. That second shot missing her, I know it wouldn't have killed her, but it just, it gets me. It hits me. Simple enough. Jump back up here, get in this action up here. I drop it behind him because I'm hoping I can push him back and they'll go for that doorway. But Beckett jumps out the window. Ignosis jumps out the window pretty much as soon as I cast it. It was just such a disappointing. I was like, oh man. I dropped the Firestorm on them and they're just they're gone they're gone before it even starts i get some damage in here though i beef that first shot and landed in the doorway then we push back here i think i get some assists back here how i do not get the kill on on any of these people i do not know oh no this isn't the time i thought it was there's a different time where we're over there fighting by that doorway and I nail somebody with a fireball, and they're on fire when they walk away. And they have, like, no health left. And I thought, oh, I'm going to get that kill. And then it turns into, like, an assist. I think Ash gets it instead. But it wasn't that time. I'm just giving away spoilers for this match. That probably already happened, like, ten minutes ago. That's probably what I'm thinking of. I'm 2-2-10 two and two and ten right now. So I have a decent amount of assists. I just don't have a lot of kills. I'm laying down, laying down consistent damage on everybody. I'm, I'm nibbling at everybody. I'm a nibbler. Put that in my, my, uh, put that in my Tinder profile. Nibbler. Gigantic nibbler. Nibbler would be a good game. <laughs> a name for a gigantic character. Here we go. Kicking some ass up through here. Look at me waddle, waddle, waddle away. And he waddles. And he waddles away. Waddle, waddle. That's Charnock for you. Charnock walked up to a lemonade stand. He said to the man at the stand, I would like to set you on fire. And then he did. I am alone, I am paranoid, I'm trying to cover all the angles, I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off, and then everybody comes back, and I'm paranoid they're going to try to kill the Cyclops, I don't know why. They, they hadn't been that organized the whole time, and I don't, they're winning by enough, I don't know why I thought they were going to, I got a kill there, nice. Um, so now I'm up to what, 3-2? Three, uh, three, um, I don't know why I thought they'd be that organized, or why they would even feel the necessity to push in and try to take our creature there, but I did. I got paranoid on it. I didn't focus on other people when I went in there and focused on that ash. Um, our Cyclops probably would have lived for a couple of seconds. It, she probably would have ran out of there. I run back over here. I heal up. Rudda, rudda. We're running. We're running. I don't really know where I'm going. My sense of direction falls apart in the back half of this match. Everybody's still over there. I remember thinking, oh, they'll all run this way. No. They don't. That's why I sit here with my bubble out, and then I cancel it. Doodle 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 do. Also, I just I don't play Clash enough anymore, and so my sense of like my sense of direction and Clash is just shot anyway. Like it's really hard for me to focus on what objectives to 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 focus on in Clash because I just don't play it enough. Um. I just don't have the game sense for Clash as much because I I just don't have this, like, I need to go here, I need to go here, I need to rotate to this point, I need to rotate to this point right now. Um, and I kind of like that about about Rush. I kind of like the fact that it's 
the rotations are in a set pattern, and so you just kind of memorize them, and then you just kind of go back and forth. And it's kind of nice. And I like that. I mean, there's something fun about playing Clash if you, you have a team that you're working with and you're communicating. And even if you're you're not on, on mic, if it's just people you know you're, you're used to playing with and you kind of know each other's patterns and you know, okay, well, he'll probably go over there and he'll probably do this. Or, you know, he's on that side of the mat. I can I can I can trust him. He's good enough. He can sit over there on his own or with one other person, and they'll they'll defend that just fine. Um, it's it's harder for me to, to go back and play Clash because I don't uh, I just don't I, I don't play as much anymore, and so I'm just out of practice on what my rotation should be. I run in here and get like jack shit damage. I think it's like 150 damage or something before I die. Jarnock's fire burns once more. You should go get that looked at. I have medications for that now, Jarnock. It's called gonorrhea. You should get it looked at. No, here we go. I'm going to wander around with my stick up. Ready to shoot. Gosh darn tarnations. I'm going to shoot this goddamn Cyclops. I was hoping my team was going to push around and try to take that Cyclops, and they just didn't. And it kind of fucked me, because then all these people come. And then I come over here, and I accidentally waste my jump. Um, I didn't mean to do that. I was just kind of mindlessly pushing uh, my my left bumper uh, before I landed. Um, and I just accidentally happened to be on the double tap of it <laughs> when I landed, and it fucked me over, and I used it. And then Taito was there, and he he definitely took advantage of that situation. Good for him. Alberto. That's a place in Canada. No, that's Alberta. That's different, right? I don't know. I've never been to Canada. Shout out to Danielle, uh, my Canadian daughter, wherever she's at. Uh, <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna pick up some more assists here. Is this the end of the game? No, I think they they attack, I think. I think we get one more attack on our side. We get a kill there. Oh, and that guy gets away. And I, again, another, another regret that my grandchildren will hear about until the day I die. I remember the time I was 35 and I missed the shot on the Margrave. Um, but here we go. Um, enough nonsense. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna push around. We're gonna get this Cyclops again. I don't know why I thought we were gonna keep attacking this thing, but we never did. We never really did. We never really just made an all-out attack on it. I just kept assuming that's what we were gonna do. See, this is one of those things where I'm talking about like when you're playing with certain people all the time, you kind of get the sense of like how aggressive they are and like if they're gonna they're the type to push for points. They're the types to play defensively. And when you're, I, and it sucks because I'm literally playing with these people all the time, but I just haven't gotten a good sense for how any of them really play. And I, I just was expecting, you know, that they would go in there and they did not ever. And, uh, I kept positioning myself to try to take shots and at, you know, and it just didn't work out. Now they're over there. Now there's some of them over there when I'm over here healing and dead, uh, you know, because a lot of times I would follow them in here and they'd kind of push out that door over there. And, uh, you know, so I'd push around the other way to flank and it just, no. But now they're all down here, so I'm going to run down here. Let's see what's going on, folks. Oh, I miss all of those shots somehow. I get a good jump here. I kind of second-guessed myself. I felt like I should have stayed up on that ledge. I don't know. Can you jump up on that ledge normally? It looks kind of high. 
Ooh, that was a good one. Look at that. I got some good damage off that. Oh, man. Me and this HK are just having like a back and forth through this whole game, and it's it's brilliant. There's like a, like probably four or five times in this match where we just end up just sort of exchanging fire back and forth at long range, and it's fun. Feels like a, a Gary Oak situation. Like he's my Gary Oak. He's he's a uh, he is my rival through this match. This is where they beat us. I got a, a decent amount of damage there at the end, even if we lost. Let's see what I ended up with. I don't know what I ended up with. I got a C. <laughs> I got an HK emblem. Shock HK. Most guardian damage, 169, which is more than anybody else on my team. 41,000 damage, uh, which is uh, second most on my team. Second most on my team. Uh, the fourth most in the game, uh, so not not great. Um, second most on my team though, fourth most in the game, four kills, four deaths, fifteen assists, which is the most assists on my team. Um, you know, I'm pretty happy with that considering we're on the losing team. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you liked, please give me a subscribe. Uh, if you made it this far, a like would be appreciated. A comment would be extraordinary. Uh, and until next time, folks, keep playing Gigantus. Uh, I will see you next time with the Airship Hopium, when we'll probably have some other game with some other character. Um, again, thank you for watching. Uh, have a great day. Snappy do it out, y'all. Bye.